Hi, we're here at the Sony stand and I'm joined by Tim Page from Sony and we're going to take you through the whole 4K process from capture right through to display. Uh, so Big, big year for 4K by the sounds of it, Tim? Yeah, very big. Uh, lots of launches here today at CES, the new TVs. Um, yeah, very, very excited and very keen for, next, for this year's new models. Now, Sony were obviously the pioneers in terms of 4K display because they launched mm. the VW1000 4K projector. Yeah. Uh, early 84 uh, inch, yeah. yeah. And they also launched the 84 inch last year. Yeah. So, what have you got planned for 2013 mm. in terms of 4K? Okay, 2013, um, two new models, one behind you actually, 65 inch, uh, the X9 series, and also available in 55 inches. So, we're trying to really expand the uh, offering of 4K displays to the consumer at more affordable prices as well. But it's really the, um, the best of picture quality plus the best of sound quality. And for the very first time, this TV behind you has got um, hi-fi cinema speakers uh, you know, built into the frame of the TV. So you get a really great, dynamic, impactful sound quality as well as the best you know, 4K resolution on the display. Now, obviously, uh, you're not the only people that have been launching with 4K displays in 55 and 65 inch sizes. So is um, LG. Uh, how does your TV differentiate from theirs then? Okay, um, all about picture quality. It's all about the resolution, the engine, you know, the, the 4K X Reality Pro engine, which is inside the TV. Um, from last year's 84 inch, it has evolved quite a lot. So we've gone down to a two-chip two solution. The first chip's the X Reality, which is cleaning the picture, giving more details, more shades of color. And then the upscaler from 2K to 4K is a second separate device. And the upscaling is very important because if you have any content, it could be Blu-ray, could be Freeview, could be uh, even mobile content, is upscaled to 4K resolution inside the TV. And of course, when you look at uh, 4K remastered Blu-rays that have been you know, restored in such high resolution, even though they're only a Blu-ray format, the TV can really accurately expand that back up to the original 4K resolution. So yeah, there's lots of opportunities there. Uh, I guess the obvious question, given how long it's taken for 4K to come to the market, is when can we expect to see these TVs in the UK? Mm. And is there any indication even in rough mm. pricing? Okay, um, we plan to launch in the summer. I uh, don't have an actual date. And pricing, we cannot tell you anything about pricing, but it'll be considerably cheaper than the 84 inch. Yeah, that's that was sure. quite an expensive TV, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, not many, you know, not many people apart from footballers and pop stars buy the, that TV. And um, But anyway, it'll be more affordable in the two sizes. Obviously it's a premium TV so there's a lot of new picture technology inside there for colour, for resolution. The sound is very important as well. So it won't be a cheap TV but it will be you know, our flagship model uh, for 2013. So that's display. I guess the next question obviously is where are we going to find the content in 4K? Mm. Well a lot of movie directors are recording films in 4K. So there's Oblivion, Tom Cruise movie, there's After Earth, Will Smith movie, already filmed on the F65 professional camera. Um, that's also been complemented with two new cameras, the F5 and the F55, so smaller, more lightweight 4K um, digital cinema cameras. So the content's being captured, which is great. And then through Sony, we've got a whole load of, um, sort of 4K uh, mastering suites that can convert old movies into 4K resolution. So 4K content's coming. We've done some work with Astra as well to see how can we deliver 4K content to the home. And technically it's possible, but you need a massive channel of bandwidth to actually send it down. So it's early days, but hopefully compression systems will improve and then it'll make it a lot more um, easy to transmit that data across to the home. I mean, obviously Sony were the developers of Blu-ray. Is there any possibility of Blu-ray becoming mm. some kind of 4K delivery system as well? Uh, in theory, yes. I know the, uh, the Blu-ray Association are working on kind of a new codec for 4K, but you have to think that the, the volume of information for 4K is huge, absolutely astronomical. To give you an idea, uh, we, we filmed some, something not too far away from here quite recently, and 4K, uh, sorry, a four minute piece of 4K native content was about 170 gigabytes of data. And that's four minutes, not like um, two and a half hours of a movie. So the challenge is compressing that down. You know, maybe we need you know, a four layer Blu-ray disc or an eight layer, I don't know, who knows? But the challenge is getting the, the right quality in a uh, practical to delivery mechanism. And you know, in the US they've announced this uh, 4K PC. So you buy the 4K TV and you get preloaded a, uh, a computer with 10 4K movies. And also on Monday at the press conference, Hirai-san mentioned about the um, 4K delivery system. So kind of downloading service that you can download 4K movies to that box and then enjoy them. Yeah. But of course it's going to take all night to download. 
because it's such big Well, all year, maybe if you've got where I live, all year. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, that's only for the States, because the States, everyone's on fibre, you know, 50, 100 megabit is commonplace to the home. So there's no plan to have that similar idea in Europe at the moment. So in terms of the, U the European or the UK consumer then who buys a 4K panel, mm. they're restricted to watching upscale content at uh, the moment? Yeah, at the moment, for sure. Yeah, I mean, there are test broadcasts, as we said, and satellites, so maybe channels will come, 4K channels may come at some point. But you have to remember the uh, the second chip, this upscaling chip in X-Reality Pro 4K, does a really great job of converting normal HD up to 4K. And especially if you're looking at content that's been shot in 4K or remastered in 4K, even though it's a Blu-ray disc, it can still accurately you know, extrapolate and, uh, and um, create that native 4K image. So, Will you be including uh, 4K upscaling in any of your Blu-ray players or receivers? Uh, yes, we've got and the S790, which is a model from last yeah. autumn, has a 4K output. Um, the uh, STR DA5800 ES receiver has 4K support, so you can, you know, switching a 4K content, that sort of thing. Yeah, there's a native pass through of 4K. Yes, that's right. Uh, PlayStation 3 you know, supports 4K for uh, for pictures, and if you download the Play Memories update, you can enjoy your holiday photos in 4K resolution, powered by the PlayStation 3. Then there's a prototype on the stand of 4K um, consumer camcorder. So actually, there's a whole wide range of products coming around the 4K area.